Hello everyone, welcome back. Today I'm going to be making my favorite dish, all time favorite dish for you. So I travel a lot for my work and when I travel I get to sample different cuisines from different parts of the world and those are fantastic. But there's nothing like coming home to some soul food. And for me, that soul food is curd rice or Thai sadam, like they say in Tamil. So let's get started. So for my first step, I have some leftover rice. This is just old rice from the fridge. And that's the best rice to use for curd rice. Um, like Uncle Roger says, you know, use cold rice or fried rice. Hiya! The same way you use leftover rice for curd rice. That's the best thing to do. Um, for, to this, the reason I'm putting it in a pan is because I'm going to cook this more. For curd rice, and you keep watching this video because I have lots of tips and tricks throughout it. Okay, so the first tip is you want rice that's mushy. And to make it mushy, you need to cook it more than normal. So that's what I'm going to do here. So to, all we'll do to cook it more, we add some water to our pan and here's the key. I'm also going to add some milk, just regular whole milk, about half a cup should do with that water. And this is going to give it a nice creamy texture. This has to boil now and once it boils, just like you're cooking rice normally, let it boil and let the water all evaporate and when what's left over will be overcooked rice or mushy rice which is the best consistency for curd rice so i'm going to add also some salt to this that's all we need in this so about um you know this is about one and a half cups of rice so one teaspoon of salt um is about is good enough so we'll give that a quick stir and let this cook off for about um i'd say take about 15 minutes or so on high heat to get to the consistency that we want so when we come back i'll show you what it looks like okay so you can see i have cooked my rice or overcooked my rice i should say that's the important part and now it should be easy to just mush into a nice mushy consistency mush into a nice mushy consistency how's that so the idea is we want mushy curd rice and this is how you get it in temples and at weddings and so on so just mush for about a few minutes. What that does also is cools the rice. Because here's another tip for you. You don't want to add curd to hot rice. Okay, so let the rice cool down. So we'll mush it, let it cool down. And that should take about half an hour or so till it's, you know, not hot enough where we can add some curd to it. Okay, so you see how my rice is nice and mushy. That's perfect consistency right there. And it's still a little bit warm, not cold enough yet, but while it's still warm, and here's the second tip, right? We want to, we'll add these green chilies. We have uh, green chilies chopped up finely. So we add some of that and also some ginger. Ginger is a great, um, it has a lot of great medicinal value and it's good for the digestive tract in general. So, and it has a lot of flavor, of course. So we add that. The reason you add it while it's warm is because it it lets the flavors of ginger and green chili infuse into the rice. So, you know, rather than have bits and pieces of flavor, the flavor is throughout this dish. So that's perfect. We'll leave this. In the meantime, while this is now cooling down completely and infusing flavors, we will move to making the tempering or the tadka for this, um, for the curd rice. So for that, I have some oil over here. You can use a neutral oil or groundnut oil, uh, whatever you prefer. Groundnut oil is great. That's what I'm using today. And I will do this and my oil is already smoking hot as you can see. And I'm going to add first, I'm going to add a couple of green chilies or excuse me, red chilies. The reason we add red chilies first is because same reason, the flavor of the chilies will infuse into the oil. So you can see it's already so hot that the uh, seeds are popping in there. So we stir that quickly a little bit. And this is my favorite cast iron pan. So that's going. To this, we will add a little bit of mustard seeds, about one teaspoon or so. Mustard seeds are very, very important part of curd rice. You can't miss this. And um, once it starts popping, which it already is, I'm going to add a little bit of urad dal, about another teaspoon of urad dal. So we add that in there and we stir it up a little. Oh, look at that. What a beautiful sound. 
Next, I'm going to add to this some curry pata, which is curry leaves. And the last thing that goes in my tempering and a very important flavoring ingredient is asafoetida hing uh, or teringayam as we call it in Tamil. I normally add a pinch but for this dish I'm adding nearly half a teaspoon because I want the flavor of hing uh, or uh, teringayam in my curd rice. So with that my tempering is done. Give that a bit of a stir. And now we will just add this tempering to our uh, rice before we add that. Now, this is a cast iron pan, so it's going to be very, very hot. So I'm handling it with some gloves, as you can see. Always be safe in your kitchen. So we throw that. Oh, look at that. Beautiful. Now, all of that goodness that's in there, left over in the pan, don't waste it. So what I do, and most Indian households, you're familiar with this. You put some rice in there. So you get everything, all of the flavors and toss it back in there. Okay, I got everything out. We will let this sit now for a couple of minutes. We will stir this, let it sit for a couple of minutes, it's completely cool and then we will get to finishing off this dish. Okay, so now to finish off this wonderfully delicious dish. I'm going to add the hero of the, the dish, which is uh, curd or yogurt. This is just homemade curd that's beaten up. And we'll add a generous quantity, about a cup or so for this much rice. Now, if you're going to consume this right away, just adding curd is enough. Curd is an excellent probiotic. It's got many health benefits. But if you're not going to eat it right away, what most people do at this point is add some curd, but also some milk or fresh cream. We're not doing that today because we're going to eat this right away. I can't wait. So I have my curd. This is another ingredient that I add. A lot of you don't add is cool cucumbers. Uh, it has a cooling effect. So in summer when you're having curd rice, add some cucumber to it for an extra cooling effect. So we will add and of course extra flavor. Cucumbers are wonderful. So we'll add a few cucumbers in there. These are cucumbers that are finely diced and with the seeds out right that's important and no good curd rice is complete without some good pomegranate so we'll add some pomegranates in there just a handful don't have to add too much and some finely chopped coriander so we add all of this to our dish and then you give it a nice stir now, if the yogurt at this or yogurt or curd is less at this point, then you can add more. Just add it to the consistency that you like. And as I'm mixing this, it looks like I have a little bit of less yogurt in there. So I'm going to add more. So I added one cup and let's make it one and a half cups. So about two cups of cooked rice and one and a half cups of dahi, tair or curd or yogurt several names for it same thing and you have a wonderful Thai sadam look at that consistency so now I'm going to show you how to serve this dish up and how it's eaten traditionally in Tamil Nadu and other parts of South India so this is how we serve it this is a beautiful curd rice we have some uh, lime pickle and a variety of chips over there or uh, appalam any way you want it that's how curd is eaten sometimes you have more moraga too but either way, enjoy it the way you like it. I hope you like this dish as much as I do. My all-time favorite dish. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.